The Caravan Diary is proud to be sponsored by Caravan Guard Insurance. Get a quick discounted quote at caravanguard.co.uk slash caravan diary. For the last couple of nights of our spring trip, we stopped off at the St Neots campsite of the Camping and Caravanning Club. In some ways, it's surprisingly similar to our previous site at Warwick. An easy stroll from St Neots Town Centre and a slightly longer stroll to the nearest supermarket, a 24-hour Tesco just down the road. It's a surprisingly large site, 180 pitches, two shower blocks, and it's all situated right beside the River Great Ouse, where keen anglers can drown worms right beside their caravan or motorhome. The site itself is flat, but it can get flooded on occasion, and the club has gradually been increasing its hard standing pitches and roadway system over time. There's also a site rule that every caravan must have a tow vehicle on site overnight, just in case the river suffers an unexpected rise. However, don't worry too much, the Environment Agency manages the river day and night, and any potential flooding will be well forecast, they say. The town of St Neots is also right beside the river and it's worth noting that driving out of town over the bridge brings you to some very cheap parking on the left hand side. According to Dot the town centre shopping is excellent with plenty of smaller independent shops and a couple of smaller chains and the buildings themselves are attractive and interesting too. There are several pubs, restaurants and cafes in town. Isn't it amazing how the last night of a holiday suddenly goes from being rainy and a bit overcast and miserable to being absolutely beautiful? The weather this afternoon, this last afternoon of our trip, has been gorgeous. Had sunshine all the time, it's been lovely and warm. It's now just coming up to quarter to seven and the wind's starting to get a bit chilly. So I'm going indoors to do a bit of editing and watch a bit of TV. We'll see you soon. What a nightmare hitch up that was. It's been tipping down with rain and we've got everything done in reasonably good order. But actually getting off that pitch I thought the best and safest thing to do would be to actually put the car on the road and manoeuvre the caravan out using the mover. But in fact, that all kind of went a bit wrong because the solid front wheel, the jockey wheel we've got on the caravan, just didn't want to play as far as the small shingle was concerned. And we had a bit of a problem, so in the end we backed the car up to it and that meant we had to go over the quite soft soil at one side. Pain, but there you go. Caravan Diary is proud to be sponsored by Caravan Guard Insurance. Insurance for caravans, folding campers, trailer tents and motorhomes. Caravan Diary viewers qualify for up to 10% club member insurance discounts. Get a quick quote at caravanguard.co.uk slash caravan diary.